how to use panda doc tutorial easy hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to get started with panda doc so let's get into it now panda doc is a online platform that will enable you to simplify all your documentation needs and it allows you things from e signatures workflows and apis where you can create different proposal contracts codes e signatures forms all using panda doc and panda doc is really a one-stop solution for all of your documentation needs and and they have a lot of different features by industry, by case, by team as well. So it, it, like, let's say if you're looking for e-signatures, you can see the different options that you have available. Then on PandaDoc, you have solutions for anything. Uh, even if you have an e-educational business, then you have things like forms, contracts, e-signatures, the basic tools you would need for e-educational business and other businesses as well. Now, to get started with PandaDoc, all you have to do is click on start 14 day free trial on the top right over here. And once you click on over here, this will lead you to the PandaDoc signup form. Now over here, you're just going to enter your email address. And once you have entered your email address, you're just going to enter a suitable password. And once you do that, you're just going to click on sign up over here. And we're just going to click on free e sign plan. Create, click on free to create free account over here if you don't want to sign in with your company name. So I'm just going to fill in this information and I'll get back to you guys in a second. And if you don't want to, uh, if you don't want to just enter all of this, you can also choose to sign up with Google or LinkedIn. So you have quite a few different options available and I'm just going to continue with my Google account. Uh, just just to keep my sign up process simple you can just sign up with any of your gmail accounts and we're just going to continue on over here to our panda doc application to get started with panda doc now you can see it's just taking a, a few seconds to load up my panda doc dashboard over here and you can see that you have your basic dashboard right over here so on your left you have a navigation panel where on the top this is your dashboard this is your basic dashboard then below that you have your document section so in your document section you can add and create all of the documents that you have then below that you have your shared in, in your document section you have different filters like your trash filter your shared with me so documents that pe other people have shared with you then you have filters like upcoming renewals expiring soon or created by me and then you can add custom statuses to your documents as well sent viewed suggest edits paid declined and then you can create filled folders so let's say i want to create a specific folder for all my documents that are related to my house i'm, I'm just going to name this folder house and then after i have created this simple folder i can open this folder up and enter all of the documents that are re related to my housing or related to the house that i'm buying all of the documentation could be added over here now below that you have your template section on the panadoc application so in your template section you can click on the template gallery and view different kinds of templates that they have available for a lot of different things like your proposals contracts consulting presentations business plans financial documents any kind of document they probably have a simple template that you can get started with and some of their most useful templates that i really like are their invoice templates so i'm just going to show you guys one of these so you can see that this is a simple sales invoice template there are quite a few different options available for invoice templates you have real estate templates you have receipts as well so there are quite a few different options available for you to be able to have a good little documentation platform with pandadoc and you also have things like software sales tax template forms and other forms as well so you have tax form templates as well so if you open those up you can see you have a declaration of real purchase form available as well and you can just open up any of these templates to get started and you can create your own custom template as well so let's say for your business uh, you have a certain thing you like to sell in a certain way then you can click on create over here and create your own custom template for your brand where you can add custom branding as well then below that you have your form section so in the form section you can click on create form on the top right over here click on blank or use a template to get started with and create a simple form for a person to verify with or to sign as well so you can see I if i click on blank over here i can add quite a few different blocks available i have an empty canvas and i can basically uh, start adding whatever i want into the form section below that you have your content library so you can upload and save a lot of your content over here then you have a catalog below that so in your catalog you can start adding items 
So let's say I have a certain item that has a certain price. I can add the catalog of products that I'm selling. So I am able to easily generate my invoices. This will really automate your entire invoicing process with PandaDoc. If you do this, you're really going to be able to easily sell items. So I'm just going to enter the information of a random item that I'm just going to think of. So you can see I've added a simple keychain as my product with a product SKU number as well with a fixed pricing method, which is priced at $12 and the cost is $8. The reason that I added the cost is to be able to actually see that I am making a profit. This will enable you not only to be able to invoice and document your finances in a simple way where you can charge your customers the price, but you can also simply see what kind of profits you are generating. Now, below that, you have your contact section on the left. So in your contact section, you can add the frequently uh, used contacts, people that you are going to be contacting via these methods, people that you have to get e-signatures from or people that you are dealing with, your vendors, suppliers, your customers. You can click on new contact on the top right over here and use your Zapier integration or your CRM tool. If you already have your contacts added over there, you can add them from there or you can just enter these fields custom uh, one by one or you can also import your Gmail contact. Contact. Below that, you have your reporting section, which is on the premium version of PandaDoc. Now, at the bottom, you have your inbox where you can communicate with fellow team members. Then you also have your settings and then you have a store add-on as well. So if you click on store add-on, you will, you will have to enable SSO and you can add different CRM integrations and other things as well. And in your settings section, you have custom branding integration as well. So you can change the color of your overall workspace that you are working in uh, within PandaDoc. So if you want to customize overall experience, you can really do that over here as well. And if you go back onto your dashboard section, you can take a overview of all of your documents. So you can see uh, you will have all of the documents listed, how many documents you've sent, how many have been declined for approval, how many are completed, paid, or waiting payment. So just like that, you can get started with PandaDoc. If we go into the document section and we're going to click on create just to show you guys how to create a simple document, I'm going to open up a sample invoice. You're going to click on add one item. You're going to click on skip. So you can add other recipients to the doc as well. And we're just going to open this up and you can see how the document is going to look like. So you can see this is a sample invoice and you can choose if this needs a signature. You can just click on this and click on assign as well to add a specific signature. If you want the signature of a specific person, you can add that. Or if it's just a general signature field, you can leave it empty as well. You can also add the date, checkbox, drop down, and contact collect files or card details as well. And you can also add your items over here. So let's say we have this. So you can click on add to library and you can create a new item in the library or add existing library item. So you can click on add over here and then you can choose any one of these simple items that you have previously added. And that is how simple and easy it is to use PandaDoc. And the best part about PandaDoc is that it is available for free where you have illegally binding e-signatures, payments, and unlimited document uploads. Then it has the essentials version starting at 19 USD per month per user where you have templates, rich media drag and drop features, pricing tables, and document analytics, then the business version starting at $49 per user per month with CRM and Zapier integrations, content libraries, custom running, and approval workflows. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video.